So what's good you two? What's up with you man? It's your boy I drop shot 23 back at the gate with another video and first and first make sure you guys hit that like button hit that sub button if you guys are new to this channel and more videos will come all the way now guys this is quickly a quick video of me showing you guys how to make uh, arguably one of the best rebounders in the game uh, Andre Drummond of course aka the big penguin so I'm gonna show you guys real quick how you guys can make this build now I'm not gonna lie this build is kind of looking dumb it's looking stupid in this shit I'm not really gonna lie um but this is pretty much on his belt right here so i'm gonna get straight for it away now you guys obviously want to make this brass a center because i have the drum and of course it's a center now this now this replica build of on the drum and this is the detroit piston version so this was the time where he used to um, play for the pistons this and that so you guys want to make sure you guys put the hat at 6 for 11 put the weight at 259 and then for the wingspan you guys want to put a wingspan at 745 uh, body shape, of course, you guys already know. Um, it doesn't really matter, but I just put Bell because uh, Andre Drummond is actually pretty big. Um, he do weigh about like 260 around there. I'm not too sure about his pounds, but anyways, after you guys are um, done doing all that stuff, you guys should see that you should get 25, 0, 0, and 27. Um, definitely makes sense for sure now everything that you, everything that you guys see on the screen you guys go copy um if you guys want to make this replica build is up to y'all but pretty much um i'm gonna quickly just go over the badges and the build itself as a whole so guys um this build obviously gets 25 finishing badges that's actually pretty good uh, it makes sense we all know andre drummond is a straight inside player um like i said he's one of the best rebounders in the game on crazy rebounder but as you guys could see the first thing you guys will notice is that um, for the tier 3 you actually end up getting bully hall of fame because on um, this build gets 95 strength um that's where you get the hall of fame bully now for tier 2 you get back down punisher on hall of fame which that's about because your post country is really high as well um you like um you're mostly getting like these hall of fame post badges it's just because of your strength being so high um, Dropster being a tier 1 badge is definitely um, underrated and it's definitely a W for sure. Um, you still get the fast switch on gold, you get mash on gold, um, so you still get all, all that stuff. Now, um, for shooting, obviously Andre Jarman you know, wasn't a great shooter at all. Playmaking, he was really known for a playmaker, so the fact that the shooting and playmaking is zero makes sense. Now, I'm quickly going to talk about defense. Now for defense, you guys, the first thing you guys will notice is his offensive and defensive rebound in 99. Um, it definitely makes sense for sure because Andre Drummond is one of the best rebounders. Bro, I'm telling you, when this man used to play for the Pistons, he was damn near averaging like 13 to 14 rebounds a game, bro. This guy was getting every rebound. Um, definitely a great rebounder. He knows how to position himself um, to get the rebound. So it makes sense that he gets the Hall of Fame rebound chaser. Now the break on Hall of Fame, um, like I said, your interior defense is high, so that makes sense as well. But I wouldn't really give on the jump a Hall of Fame, um, Hall of Fame brick wall. I give it like go brick wall. His screens wasn't really the best, but his screens was definitely hidden. But I still wouldn't consider giving a Hall of Fame brick wall. But it's just because your interior defense and strength is so high, so that's what you get it. Uh, you also get um box up a Hall of Fame, which that makes sense. On the jump me is. Uh, a terrific uh, position himself again the rebound he box on his opponents that's much how he began his rebounds but yeah this is the build right here um as you guys could see you guys could see you get 62 95 on uh, strength 75 vertical so you guys will also get like the standing elite um the standing dunks the elite package as well you get 85 close shot um you still get on um, fast switch, you get all of those stuff. So like I said, you guys should get 25, 0, 0, and 27. Uh, this, this build is uh, um, great for pro arm. This is definitely a great pro arm build. Um, I know you're 6 for 11, but you could definitely match up against anybody. But I'm gonna show you guys a take real quick. You guys, as you guys can see on the screen, you get a rim take, glass, and post coin. I end up doing post coin because um there, because um, you have a high rebound already. Um, you get nine offense and nine defensive, so I just I just want, want to get toxic, so I just did on um, post shot dagger so I could do 
both fadeaways and stuff. Um, now for secondary, I end up on rim, rim take just so because I want to like defend um, in the paint better. Um, I want to get some um, like some stuff blocks animation on the other etc. But that's that's much what I chose for the takeover. But after you guys are done making a build, you should get Antonio Davis, Clint Capella, and um, Tom and Robinson. Um, that's how you say his name. And as you guys can see, um, it says Andrew Jamin replica build on um, the big penguin now nah, people definitely do call him the big penguin but i just don't remember people calling him that but i guess that's his nickname um you guys want to make sure you put 99 and for the badges if i was to make this build for for i actually might consider making this build i'm being so dead serious i will actually make this build um but anyways uh, back to what i'm saying uh, i would definitely end up putting on his pushizer on silver um, back down Punisher go just so because like, I could back down um, if I have a mismatch and be uh, posting up my um, smaller opponents this and that um, I end up quite bully very very important because I want to you know what I'm saying like I said um, if I'm driving I could push people out of the way and just either dunk the ball or get an easy layup I also end up on the fast switch on gold um, very very important so I could dunk the ball faster now I have three my friendship as work when I, and I just end up doing the rest on drop stepper so yeah, that's much my finishing battles. For shooting, unfortunately, this girl gets no shooting or playmaking. Just because Andre Drummond was not a good playmaker at all and shooting obviously wasn't shooting the ball. Um I I'll say he, he's a he's definitely a better shooter now than back then. Because back then he wasn't really shooting the ball at all. Like he wasn't really shooting this and that. But for defense, um I end up putting workhorse hall of fame. I should have put a workhorse on Sober, yeah, on, on sober, but I end up putting it down just because, like, I'm a big man, I don't really need work on that high. I end up putting a bunch of of course, so I could save extra bash points. End up putting brick wall on. Um, I was kind of debating if I should put the brick wall on how to gold, but I end up putting on gold, gold brick wall should work out. End up putting anchor on silver, um, because the door only gets up to silver anchor. Um, end up putting chase down on gold, um, and work course, I decided to operate on gold. So yeah, um, so this is the build right here. So you guys can see the finishing, no shooting, no playmaking, and defense. You guys can see all, all that stuff. Now you guys let me know in the comment section below how y'all felt about this build. This build is pretty much great for poem. Um, I definitely recommend you guys should make this build. I didn't issue why I just shot to me. I'm out.